So my son, he asked me, he said, dad, how can I help you out with work today? And I said, all right, cool. I got you. I'm gonna show you how you can help me. And he's the one that started pressing record on the camera so we could get this video started. Uh, but the Patriots, the Patriots were like, hey, Mac Jones, how can we help you out with your work today? And they did that by acquiring wide receiver Devontae Parker from the Miami Dolphins. Now, it had been said once the Dolphins acquired, especially once they acquired Tyreek Hill, even a little bit before that, though. But once they acquired Tyreek Hill um, and they re-signed Preston Williams, too, and of course, they still got Jalen Waddle, uh, franchise tag Mike Jasicki. But anyway, once they got Tyreek Hill, uh, there was a lot of chatter about it possibly being um, time for Devontae Parker to be out for the Dolphins to have traded him. And then the rumor started buzzing that the Dolphins, they're taking calls on Devontae Parker. And apparently these rumors were true uh, because they picked up the phone uh, for the New England Patriots. Now, let's look at the trade details. The details of the trade. Uh, this year, a fifth round pick. So <laughs> pretty much nothing. But this year is a fifth round pick. And then next year, a third rounder. So the Dolphins were really trying to come up off of Devontae Parker. They really wanted to get rid of Devontae Parker. And they just did not want him on the roster anymore, especially if that's all that it took. That's that like that's it. So it, it was clear that they were ready to uh, to move on. And for the Patriots. Um, the, the list of their receivers, Devontae Parker is obviously now um, the most established one. Um, they have Jacoby Myers. He's, he's a little underrated. He's a little sleeper guy, but he has not been that guy yet. But he, he's nice, man. I'm a Ravens fan, so I know he burned us a couple times. Anyway, uh, Kendrick Bourne, uh, Nelson Aguilar. Uh, Nikhil Harry, uh, Ty Montgomery, uh, Christian Wilkinson, and Malcolm Perry. So you got to feel like receiver is going to be a priority for them uh, in the draft and possibly free agency too because it was said that they had also been talking to one uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Now, I don't know if them adding Devontae Parker removes them completely from Odell Beckham Jr. or they could still possibly add him too. That'd be nice if they did still add him. We know, of course, he got to go through his rehab and everything. He got to have a full recovery, but... He could be one of those guys for the Patriots to where it's like, all right, um, you you come on more toward the, the late end of the season or late on in the season. Maybe he says, stays on the, the physically unable to perform list for the first six weeks of the season, uh, and then he comes back. We'll see. Um, but with Devontae Parker, that gives you their most established uh, wide receiver. And then, of course, they still um, – what was it jo Jonu Smith, the tight end? And then um, ugh, I always forget the other tight end that they signed – uh, from the Chargers. I, I cannot remember his name for nothing right now. Um, but I'm sure somebody will remember it in the comment section. But anyway, this is a it's a solid move for the Patriots. It's not like, oh, man, whoa, they absolutely killed this trade. Or what? It's a very low-risk trade. And you know what you're getting in, in a Devontae Parker. But now um, he will be expected to be a more feature receiver, in my opinion, in this offense. So good for the Patriots, good for Mac Jones, good for them helping out their young quarterback. All right, Cardi, you can go ahead and end the video. Thanks for helping.